Actually, as soon as data ends up in reports, users can look into it. They can check it, they can compare it. They start analyzing the data in order to understand what's going on in the factory. And as soon as you understand what's going on, you can try to improve the processes. For instance, by identifying root causes of deviations. This opens the door to a whole new topic, data analytics. And we do have a product for this as well. Please let me introduce you to Thomas Sahel, Head of Innovation, and Lucas Marshall, Principal Consultant of PASIC Savvy. Lucas, Thomas? In companies, the data is usually spread across various locations. Databases, computers, or single spreadsheets. When doing data analysis, you need to look at data from various locations at the same time. However, it's difficult to access the data in these locations. So finding the correct data is time consuming and prone to errors. To be honest, it annoys me that in the pharmaceutical industry we waste so much time searching for data and instead we should focus on the process. No worries, Lucas. Our software solution Savvy helps you to overcome this issue. Engineers need to look at the process, not at databases or spreadsheets. Savvy pulls the data from various sources and maps it directly onto the production process. This looks great! But that for the first time we can look at process data through the eyes of engineers. Depending on the purpose, you need to look at the process from various angles. Savvy lets you do that easily. For example, if you need to perform a scale-up, you can quickly look at the unit operation you want to scale. Within a few clicks, Savvy increases granularity and groups data by scale or production site. For this process, it seems that the small scale performs even better than the large scale. Thomas, what did you see? It seems the process changes during scale-up. Ah, I see. Maybe there's a timely trend in the fermentation process. Let's have a look at that. Savvy also lets you easily investigate the dynamics of your process. By that, you can not only perform endpoint analysis, but you can assess the performance of your process at each point in time. Let's color the plot by scale. Thomas, it seems that we feed too much substrate in the large scale process. We definitely need to fix that before we apply for market approval. Speaking about process approval and validation, we must not forget to check the impurity clearance of our process. Within a few seconds, Savvy visualizes the purification chain of our complete production process and you can identify which unit operation is most important. For this process, the chromatography is mainly responsible for purifying the product. Lucas, I've identified the most relevant production step. We should inform the validation team. As you see, with Savvy it's possible to look at the process from various angles and gather useful knowledge in a matter of minutes. It's even possible to share the results quickly with co-workers and to work on the process in a collaborative way. But Lucas, the journey doesn't end here. With Savvy we can employ advanced data science applications. We can build a digital twin of your manufacturing process and simulate what happens if we change the process parameters. It seems that the process is consistently running out of specification. What can we do about it? Usually we run a costly investigation to solve that. But let's employ our digital twin to solve it without any further experiments. We need to figure out which of these process parameters really impact on product quality. Let's change the pH a bit. It seems that the change was beneficial to the process, but still not all batches find their way to specifications. I will try to change the illusion buffer as well.
The illusion buffer was key to consistently deliver product quality. With that, we have solved the investigation and moved the process back at its validated state. Did you like what you saw? Sevi already makes customers happy all over the globe and helps them in their day-to-day -day business. Join the Sevi team.